Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how to use an RC522 RFID reader the correct way. Now I've done a little research after I got these. Um, I ordered them from overseas, got them pretty cheap, and I done did some research and uh, on YouTube, 99.9% .9 of the people that have videos using these are not hooking them up the correct way. Now, the way they're using them, they're not uh, leaving them on for a long time and stuff. So, they'll work for a while. But, this is a 3.3 volt board. And that means 3.3 volts on everything. And when they're hooking them up, they're hooking the voltage in, yeah, to the 3.3 on the uh, Arduino board. But everything else, they're putting the 5-volt pins on the Arduino. Well, this is a 3.3-volt device. I'm sorry, but that is not the correct way to hook this up. So today, I'm going to show you the correct way to hook this up. And it's not very hard at all and it only costs so a dollar fifty two dollars for the part and that's this little thing right here we'll get to in a second so uh let's just get right into it now i have it all hooked up and i set up a little circuit here so that uh when a good card gets swiped this will turn green if one that is a bad card one that the uh, the number is not stored in the Arduino it will turn the LED red and I'll just demonstrate here quick this is a good one turns green this is another good one turns green now I have two bad ones and I'm not sure how good the color is going to show up but the LED does turn red I'm looking at the camera and it doesn't look very red to me, but it is turning red. And here's another one that's not programmed into it. But uh, yeah, the LED lights up red. And I'm using an RGB LED right here. I'm just only using the, the green and the red. Um, I don't have the blue hooked up to anything. But uh, well, let's get into how you actually hook this up the correct and proper way. You want to use a logic level converter. Now, a lot of people like to use the voltage dividers. Well, that would work if you just wanted to, you know, drop the voltage to 3.3 going into this. But you can all just take the 3.3 off the Arduino board. You got the voltage into there. No, you want to use a logic level converter. And with any 3.3 volt device that you're using on Arduino, you want to use one of these. If you don't have any of these, order a couple. Um, I have a couple 8 channels, and that's what this is. It's an 8 channel. It's got 8 ins and 8 outs for the high voltage and the low voltage. And it's got the voltage in and the ground and the voltage out and the ground. And they're cheap. Um, I ordered a bunch of the... Uh, the two channel ones that I use with my HCO6 Bluetooth modules. And I got five of them for like $3, I think, at the most I paid. This one here, I only ordered one at a time. I paid $1.52, but if you order three, four, five of them at a time, they're going to get way cheaper. And it is a good idea if you're going to be using a lot of 3.3 volt stuff with your Arduino. Have some of these on hand. Get a couple of the eights. Get a couple of the twos. You're you're gonna definitely in the long run be glad you have them. So now how it works is um, we of course got the five volt off the Arduino goes to the five volt in, which on uh, this eight channel here. It just says HV, and that's the high voltage. And then we got the 3.3 pin on the Arduino Uno here, 
And you also have to hook that to the uh, logic level converter and you put that on the low level. And then that also connects to this. But what that does is it tells this little board, well, this is the voltage everything needs to be on this side. And then the 5 volt on this side, it tells us, well, this all needs to be 5 volt logic on this side. That's all there is to it. Then what you do is you take your pins and um, there's eight of them on here, but you only use seven of them and only five of them are used for the, the transmission back and forth for reading the cards. The other two is your voltage and ground. So what I did is I just took um, the first one that I was hooking up and I put it to the high voltage one, HV1, it's on the board. And then the output, LV1, and then I ran it to the corresponding pin it's supposed to be on the RC522. And just so on, the second one, third one, fourth, and just work your way down. And you'll have um, a couple extra pins left over. And actually, if you wanted to put a um, Bluetooth module in the circuit for some reason, there's still enough pins left open on this logic level converter to add that without having to put another logic level converter. I mean this is easy and most people in I guess a lot of the Arduino beginners just don't know that these exist and it's a logic level converter and it's way better than using voltage dividers. It uh, way better trust me and it don't cost much and the problem solved. That's all there is to it. So please, don't just hook this up to the 3.3 the volts and hook everything else to the 5 volt pins. It will work. Yes, it will work. But what will happen is if you hook this up on something where it's going to be powered up all the time, the life expectancy of this board is not going to be great. If you use the logic level converter, this board will probably last years. You don't, and you leave it plugged in all the time. I guess I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing maybe a month if you're lucky. But um, if anybody that's watching this um, has had different results, please leave a comment below, please. Um, I would like to hear um, anything that you've done with these and your experience, uh, just let me know. But from my experience with using 3.3 volt stuff with 5 volt, use a logic level converter. All right. Um, well, I showed you. I've got that sketch on there that turns it green if it's a good one, red if it's a bad. I'm going to be doing another video, and that'll probably be up within 24 hours of this one. So um, if you're watching this right as I uploaded it, um, subscribe or just uh, keep an eye on the channel. I'll um, actually put a link on this video too in the description below once I get that up. And I'm going to be doing another video here real shortly on how to use this to actually turn this LED off and on, but also to activate a relay or a solenoid or whatever so like you want to open a door or turn the lights on or something like that and that's going to be the next project and um like i said i'll have that up within like 24 hours um worst comes to worst 48 but i'm pretty sure about 24. so uh, i hope you found this information useful and uh, also, if um, you don't know where to get these logic level converters, um, there'll be a link below to go to my website. And I'll have some links to where you can get these at a fairly decent price. It's actually the place I buy all my parts from. But uh, you can check that out. Otherwise, uh, give me a thumbs up, please. If you thought this information is useful, thumbs up would be appreciated. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut. Hope to see you here again. Have a great day and have fun building.